Hi, Wade here from Safe Passage, maker of the Scoot Fishing Rod Case. We're back for assembly instruction four and five, choosing your exo insert foam and fitting it to the support brackets. Right, we've got foam jigsaws of a range of sizes, which will take your rod diameter from one mil to 29 millimeters, and they slide into this support bracket. One point when you're choosing your phones, is obviously you want to fit them to the correct rod diameter. Keeping in mind, the best way to load your scoot case is with top and tail. So you'll want one large opening and one narrow opening. So it's very easy to change, so it doesn't matter if you get it wrong the first time. Let's just give it a go. I've got the large aperture phones which is the second largest, there's the extra large at the top. They're a mirror image, so to fit them, simply put them back to back and put them face to face. These profiles on the outside line up, whereas the inside they actually hit and miss. So they're not meant to be straight through. Let's take the rear spine, and slide it up the inside of one half. So, if you want to have a look in there, that's one installed. Okay, let's choose a narrow one. We'll go for the finest or the smallest opening. If there's a little piece of foam left inside, just take it out. You won't need that. If this is moving too fast, back to back and together. That's how they slide in. Second half goes in and that's it. You've done your foam inserts. If this isn't large enough, choose the next size up. If this is too narrow, same thing. Change as much as you like. So we've inserted foams into each of the support brackets. Let's fit them to the track. You'll see on the bottom there's this shape, it makes a T, they rotate onto the tracks inside your case. To fit them to the track, have them slightly off perpendicular with some reasonable downward force, they'll slide on or rotate on very easily. Just show you if you don't give them enough downward pressure, they don't really go on that easily and they'll tend to twist in your hand. They'll go on eventually. So just give them nice firm downward pressure when you're taking them on or off. And they'll go on pretty easily. Fit all three. Now, they don't have to be perfectly aligned. They can be off a little. But it's recommended that these clips always have contact with each other to provide your case with internal structure. The case gets a lot of strength from that design. 